everyone and welcome or welcome back. I am so glad that you are here watching today. My name is Lisa and today I am doing a walkthrough shop with me at Pop Shelf. They had just put out all of their new fall and Halloween decorations. This was my first time to get to shop in a Pop Shelf. It was so exciting. They have a lot of really great decor and I wanted to share it with you. So if you're new to Pop Shelf like I was, it is a spinoff of Dollar General. It is considered the upscale or more expensive version of Dollar General. But honestly, I felt like the prices were on point, especially in this section for the fall home decor. It was spot on with what you would see at the good old DG. I also loved that it was very clean, organized, and set up. Everything was displayed very professionally and very nicely. The staff at the store I was in were phenomenal. They greeted us. They were happy and smiling and helpful. The checkout is self-check, but there was an employee right there ready and willing to help me if I needed it. So if you are near a pop shelf, I recommend stopping in. It was definitely worth it worth it. I am trying to show you a variety of all the stuff that they had as well as price tags as much as I could. I think you will see I gravitate to a lot of neutrals this year. I really love these white silver dollar bushes. They were $3 and that is a really good price for a higher quality stem. I thought these rugs were really cute. They are that thick, stiff um, grass. I don't know what you would call that, but for I like an outdoor rug. It's very standard and typical of an outdoor rug. They had tons of pumpkins, pillows, all these beautiful floral stems. This pillow was $12. Not very full and fluffy, but it was well constructed and the colors were great. I liked this wreath. I have seen a similar one at Kirkland's and it was a whole lot more expensive than $10. This Harvest Pompous Grass, it was a really good quality too, and it was $3. What colors are you going to be using this fall to decorate? Are you going to use traditional colors, or are you going to gravitate more to the muted soft whites, pastels, that sort of color palette? Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear from you guys, so don't be shy and talk to me below. I decorate more in just fall neutrals. I do have a few Halloween pieces, but if you love Halloween decor, they had a ton of it here at Pop Shelf. I loved these bottle brush trees. They were candy corn colored, bright and fun. Plenty of jack-o'-lanterns, trick-or-treat, skeletons, cobwebs. These trays were really nice. I didn't think there was anything about them that would necessarily scream Halloween either. You could use it all year long if it fit your color scheme. It was $5 for that size and $10 for the slightly larger tray. So many party platters and buckets, so many cute decorations. Like I said, you could do a lot with all of this. 
This pumpkin filler was good quality. It was $3 for a bag. I really liked this Hello Fall plaid sign. The colors in it were great. It was navy and orange. The candles were pretty. This one was dented. I will show you here in just a minute another full display. That one had just been tucked here. A lot of DIY and craft project items. I thought this was really nice. It says spooky and it has the tri-colored beads. This would be great for a tiered tray or to dress up a small vignette that you decorate. This $8 boo sign, I loved it. And if I did more Halloween decorations versus fall, then I would have definitely snagged that sign. And here is some of that pale teal green the more muted fall colors I was talking about. I know that these stacked wooden books are popular for decorating. This was $5 for this one. I thought that was a good deal. This was the display as you first entered the store. I thought it was really nice. It was attractively done and it really set the mood and made you want to shop for fall. You can also find me over on Instagram at uniquelylisa2. That's Lisa with an E and the number two. I post a lot of additional content and daily life over there and would love for you to join me. I think this color palette is so pretty. I've also been seeing a lot of plaid and they did not disappoint. They had several plaid signs to choose from to mix in with your fall decor. These wooden pumpkins were $5. They had a little faux leather sign on them that said thankful. These little trays were nice, $3 for that. And then all the pillows, thought that was a pretty color and would be a great addition, especially if you had a white couch. I think that would really pop and stand out and look fabulous. For anyone that's new, again, I am so glad that you are here as well as my regular friends. I am a stay-at-home mom. I have two boys that are older. I have a background in fashion design, but I love being a stay-at-home mom. I love making my house a home, decorating it, keeping it clean. It is a passion of mine, and I just want to share that with you here on YouTube. So you will find a lot of cleaning motivation, shopping, shopping hauls, decorating, not just for the seasons, but for your home every day. A lot of tips and tricks that help to make housekeeping and homemaking a lot more fun and manageable for you. Because I know not everybody has the passion for it like I do, but together we can do this. Motivating you always motivates me. They had a big assortment of candles here. A lot of them smelled really, really good. A couple of them I didn't care for, but that's an individual preference. Again, here's more DIY unfinished wood that you could buy for projects. This was a make your own bead garland. These beaded garlands, that was a great price for $4. The wooden beaded garland can get expensive. And then I liked the ones with the pumpkin that said fall.
more pillows, more books, a lot of pumpkins. They had all this great baking accessories here. They had table runners and towels. These would make great gifts too. I like to give gifts to my friends and family in the fall. And you could definitely put together a cute little basket or one of the wired trays that um, we've seen in all the displays. I thought this was very pretty. It's a Lazy Susan. It would be cute in the center of your table. The cutting board again with all the baking accessories tied in. Cellophane would be so pretty. It was $8. Put it with a cup towel and a nice cookie mix and spatula. You have a great gift. The Lazy Susan was $10, and like I said, you could put it in the center of your table. I think it would be nice like that. These cake pedestals were cute. They were just a simple black aesthetic, $8. You could use that to decorate just to elevate. And these are the decorative trays I mentioned that you could put together a little gift basket with. These would also be great to get now and use at Christmas. Think outside of the season and always be thinking ahead. Sometimes you can find things now and they won't be available later. They had these farmhouse style decorative storage baskets, different sizes. They were well priced in my opinion. Stuff like that can get very expensive sometimes. So again, I am glad that you're here and hope you decide to stick around. So if you haven't already, I invite you to hit that red subscribe bar, ring your bell, and set your notifications. I have a lot of content filmed. I am just working as fast as I can to edit it and get it out to you. So here's what I purchased and brought home with me. I got some of that harvest pompous grass, some of the silver dollar bushes, and then I had to get this wreath because it was such a good deal. But that was my little pop shelf haul and shopping trip. Thank you again for watching today. I know you have unlimited amount of videos you can click on and I am just honored that you chose mine. I hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day, and I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon.